Hello everyone, in this video we'll learn how we can convert PowerPoint presentation into PDF while maintaining animation. Now, if you would have tried to convert uh, any presentation into PDF, a PowerPoint uh, already has that feature. Uh, so if you go to File and if you go to Save As, uh, and then you should have an option to convert it to PDF right here. However, there is a caveat. Now, if you have a lot of animation in your PowerPoint presentation, then those animation not be completely transformed into a PDF format. Now, for example, if you have an overlapping shape, then there will only be one slide, uh, there will be only one page for per slide, and so all the shape will be overlapped. So what, what this video is basically trying to solve is how can we maintain those animation in the PDF format. Now, there's other case scenario where you are having a different fonts and features and PowerPoint versions and so on. And when you send it to somebody else, if they don't have those, then the, the cool PowerPoint that you have worked so hard for may not really look exactly on their computer. And so by converting into PDF, which is a universal portable format, it preserves the formatting. And so it is make it makes it ideal for sharing. And so with this, this feature, you can actually con convert into PDF while maintaining the, uh, uh, the animation. So actually, there, there are basic animation I have, as you can see, uh, in this, this actually PowerPoint presentation. And I'm going to convert that into PDF uh, probably in just about a minute. And so what are the, some of the features? So let me just quickly go through these. Uh, so it's basically based upon a VBA macro, a Visual Basic macro. Uh, but it is a, an EXE, so you don't need to learn all those stuff. It's just very simple and straightforward uh, installation. It actually adds a new toolbar in the PowerPoint. And then finally, just to convert, it's just a one-click thing, uh, basically three clicks, but it's a pretty easy to convert uh, into PDF. And it basically works on all, or you, you can also select a certain number of slides. Okay, What are the capabilities? So... It supports most of the animation. Now there are certain like uh, animation that it doesn't support. Uh, I'm going to refer to the, the the original application, and so you can read more about it. But it, it does a pretty decent job uh, in converting those animation. Uh, and I would say this is very useful if you are running a training or if you have a training material where you have to have number of clicks uh, and you are showing the demonstration of a software. Uh, it, it really maintains that, and so it, it makes it easy for somebody to read uh, your training material without being overwhelmed by it so much of text, right? I mean, PowerPoint basically does that for you. Okay, so there are a number of other features. So let's um, let's go ahead and actually first install that, and then we'll learn how to use that. And so if you go to Google, you can actually look for a PP split. Uh, that's the, the name of the application. Uh, as I said, if you're not really, uh, like, if you're not concerned about working with VBA, you, they also have an actual VBA macro, which you can use if you don't want to use an application. But basically, if you go to this PP split, there's a GitHub page. It's, uh, it's an open source software. Uh, the the owner has, or the, the writer, the coder has already put those in there. And so you need to simply just uh, look at these. And then this is the... Um, um, the, the side that the owner has. And so there is a way to convert for the Windows and also for Mac OS. So it should work with both of those. And so I'm going to just simply use for the Windows. I have Windows 11. Now, this may pop up because, you know, it's not frequently been downloaded. There's nothing wrong with it. All you have to do is click on these three dots and click Keep. And just show more and then keep anyway. It's just browser is... Uh, just warning you that it is, you know, not been often used. And so there's nothing wrong with this. It's just, uh, I mean, if you have downloaded stuff, you might have seen this in the past, right? So there is this EXE. Uh, and so if I go and open that, uh, so actually I already have right here. And so let me close my PowerPoint. And then the installation is also very simple and straightforward. In fact, if you go to the user's, this GitHub page, it even mentions 
what exactly is in those packages. I think there is a place where he mentions what did he use to basically create that package. So there's nothing fancy inside right here. So it's using this installed system if you're familiar with ANSYS uh, and basically using some, some macro stuff, okay? Again, if you don't need to know, then just, just go ahead and click install, go next. Uh, just read through the, the license if you need to, accept it, and then install. Now, I'm getting this because I already have installed, so sorry about that. So I'm going to say ignore, uh, and then it should basically finish installing. And as I said, all it does is just uses an add-in that puts it, uh, that add-in to a specific location so that PowerPoint can actually see that. So now let's open the PowerPoint. <clears throat> and let me open the file that I was looking at. And now you can see that it is a, a new tab right here, which is PowerPoint split. And then there's some basic uh, uh, customization and then the name of the coder. And so all you have to do is basically click split animation. And so what it'll do is it will go through your PowerPoint and then it will look at every animation you have and then it splits that into multiple slides. And so one caution that that uh, the user had is <clears throat> that it does modify your presentation. So it's better to keep a backup of your PowerPoint presentation or make a copy just in case something goes wrong, just uh, as a cautionary uh, you know, action. It doesn't do that if you click undo, it'll go back, uh, but just in case, and, and I'll show you that. So, what it'll do is, for example, uh, I'll go right here. Basically, you click on this. So let me open. And you can see I actually have these animations. So the first step is click on the that tab. Second is just click on the split animation. And based upon the, the size of your PowerPoint, it may take you know less than 10, 30 seconds. If you have a really big one, then it might take a little longer. And so once you, once it does that, you have to save that as a PDF. And so let's try that. Uh, in fact, let me go and show you an, an, another example where it can be really helpful. So here is the thing that I was mentioning a little earlier. Uh, for example, if you have a steps in your training material and then you basically want to show this step one and step two and so on, then if you, if you try to save that PDF without this tool, then it would actually jumble up everything into one slide and probably you would have tried it and that's why you are watching this video, I guess. So. Let's go ahead and I'll go to PP split. I'm going to click on this split animation. And you saw that there was a, just a status bar or progress bar. And basically it created, you can see that instead of now seven or eight uh, slide, I have a lot more slide because it's basically splitting those slides into each action. So now I can go to file, go to save as, and I'll go here and then I already had one, so let me just say a demo, okay? And so I'm going to save that as a PDF and click Save, All right? And so it shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> right? So it's done, and it, it already opened the file into a PDF. So I use this PDF editor uh, or PDF uh, reader called Sumatra. Uh, you don't need to, if, if you have the Adobe, you can use that also. And so now this animate, this uh, uh, this PDF actually has the all the animation that we had in the past, right? And so if I do Control L, it basically shows a PowerPoint kind of a mode for PDF as well. And this should also work with the Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader. And so now you are actually going through this this uh, this PDF but it looks exactly like uh, the PowerPoint. And so now if you share this to anybody, they should have exactly the same features. There won't be any chance of messing your PowerPoint because you know they don't have something. And you can see all the, every single uh, steps and you know animated you know steps are all in there as it was in the uh, original PowerPoint. So if I open that, you can see this was my original, it's right here, this was my original PPTX file, and then this is the one that I just created. And again, there's not a whole lot of change in the file size as well. But now this has those steps already in it. 
uh, it should also open if I have Adobe Acrobat Reader because probably that is what you may have. So if you go to view uh, and then I think there is, uh, I think it's control L. Yep, control L basically is like a full screen mode. And so now it's going to, you can see it's it, it works exactly the same, right? And so this is a really, really cool and good feature. So I hope you like that. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.